Trying to describe Cal's basketball season this past year proves not just to be difficult, but practically impossible. Pick any adjective in the book. Unpredictable, irrepressible, resilient, inconsistent, overpowering. They all had their place in the wonderful winding ride that was Golden Bear basketball in 1998 and 1999. Eden inside oh. presence, and look at the steal by Kilgore. How do you like it? California he came in as the leading stealer for this Cal team. He's had three more so far today. It all started back in October, took a few turns and curves, and ended in the title game in New York's Madison Square Garden on the night of March 25th. In the end, it wasn't an adjective, but a noun that describes this team best, champions. As the Bears brought home the National Invitation Tournament trophy by winning five straight postseason games and showing the world that this Golden Bear team just refused to die. Carlisle, right wing for three, around, no good, Lampley the rebound, Lampley a put back, yes, Lampley's foul! For the second straight year, Cal was forced to play without a true home, as workers were finishing up the magnificent $60 million Haas Pavilion on campus. Still, the Bears roared out of the blocks to a 9-1 record, a streak culminating in late December, when the Bears drew the largest crowd ever to see a college basketball game in the state of California. Some 19,600 fans came out to the Oakland Arena to voice their support as Cal challenged number nine ranked North Carolina. In a nip and tuck affair that was nationally televised, Cal used the scoring of Thomas Kilgore. Kilgore, great first step move, and he fakes it high off the glass. That is a shot that would have been. The rebounding of Sean Lampley and the defense of Francisco Elson to come back from a 10-point deficit. And then Gino Carlisle took over the game down the stretch. Seven minutes left in the game, Carlisle has got to lead them offensively. Oh, what a shot! Are just going crazy right about now. Carlisle misses the foul. Oh, oh, oh. Roll in! <laughs> Carlisle with a beautiful move! That win was the impetus for Cal's first national ranking in two seasons, as the Bears rose to number 25 in the Associated Press poll. Cal slumped early in the Pac-10 season as an overtime loss to Oregon, and the inability to make a second half lead hold up over number four Stanford, along with a road loss to UCLA at Pauley Pavilion, saw the Bears drop to one and three in conference play. Looking disaster straight in the face, the Cal team refused to blink. Five players scored in double figures as Cal broke open a close game on the road and pulled away from a solid USC team. Here come the Bears. Whirling like a dervish to the bucket, puts it up and gets it. And a foul is going to be called. Two weeks later, Cal had Stanford on the ropes in front of more than 15,000 fans at the Oakland Arena. It was Shahar Gordon's first collegiate start. Call out from, from Lampley. There's Shahar Gordon with the left hand and the putback. And Raymond King again sparked the Bears off the bench to a near upset before the Bears lost by two points. Now Cal's doubters predicted a collapse as the Bears were only three and seven in league play and clearly at a crossroads. This time, the team responded with a sweep of the L.A. schools. This is going to do First, Carl Boyd swiped a huge offensive rebound and converted a pair of free throws in the final minute. This is going to do, this, this is going to do it. Then Cal was bolstered before the largest crowd in Pac-10 history, sparking the Bears to a thorough spanking of number nine UCLA, 85 to 67. Again, the team concept proved to be the savior, with five Cal players scoring in double figures. Here's Watson, lob ahead, cutting the basket, alley of a temper, Davis batted away by Kilgore. Lampley controls, Carlisle across half court. Right wing, Kilgore, Lampley slams up! Cal by 10, 40 to 30. Great ball movement on the break. Boy, they look like the Boston Celtics. That, however, was followed by a pair of road losses in Washington. We got the refugees, all stars, rubber dubbing in the But not so quick with those coffin plans. By now, observers should have realized that adversity continually would bring out the best in these bears. Another big crowd helped Cal upset number seven Arizona. 
As Dennis Gates showed he can play safety as well as anyone. Live in the front court, it's steal by Gates. Two seconds ahead, Carlisle left side for three. Yeah! At the buzzer! Gates the steal ahead, left side for Carlisle. Buries the three, and the Bears close out the first half on a 12 nothing run. They lead Arizona 52 40. That was part of a 20 2 run that had the Wildcats shaking their heads in disbelief. It was Cal's third win over a top 10 team, something that hadn't been accomplished at this school since 1960. Two days later, Cal guards Gino Carlisle and Thomas Kilgore combined for 42 points. But it was freshman walk-on Ryan Foreign Kelly who clinched the victory when he came off the bench to calmly swish two free throws in the final seconds. The five. Do you think he'll remember this and tell this to his grandchildren someday? Both without hitting a rim. After splitting on the road to close out the regular season, the Bears fell just one win short of a likely NCAA bid. However, Cal's 17-11 record and a final push that saw the Bears win three of its last four games was more than good enough for the program's sixth postseason berth of the 1990s. Seizing the opportunity, the Cal team went to work in the NIT. Fresno State came to town with Park's run and gun attack. The Bulldogs bolded to a 12 point second half lead. But Carl Boyd's thunderous dunk signaled the beginning of the end for the Bulldogs. Up fake, drives it on Farley, cut off, left elbow, again to the hoop, down the lane! He slams, dunks it over Eli! What a move by Boyd! Oh, baby! 53 50 California. A 16 to 1 run late in the game gave Cal a first round victory. The Bears then traveled to Chicago and challenged a DePaul team that had already posted one home victory over Cal. Cal fell behind by 17 points in the first half, but Sean Lampley was a terror on the boards. And Francisco Elson's lay-in with two minutes to go proved the difference in a 58-57 win. Proving unpredictable, Cal opened up a 22-point lead at home in the NIT quarterfinals against Colorado State. As players like Solomon Hughes provided a glimpse of Cal's future. Speed off the inbound to Hughes, slams up underneath. However, the Rams got all of it back and took a brief lead before Cal finally closed out the game with 10 straight points and the win. The reward was a trip to New York City, a semi-final matchup with an old nemesis, Oregon. It was the same Oregon team that had two wins over Cal in the regular season, including the final regular season game in Eugene that kept Cal from the NCAA tournament. It's an inside. There's that jump hook. Yeah, he's got that down. Nelson now with the two points. showed Big Apple fans that a West Coast brand of basketball could impress any audience. And Michael Gill went simply unconscious as he hit from every area on the court en route to a career-high 22 points, all in the second half. Suddenly, a close game became a rout as Cal swamped the Ducks in a 16-point victory. That left only one more obstacle to conquer for the Cal program to lay claim to its first national postseason championship in 40 years. The traditional ACC power Clemson was the opponent, and the Bears had to do it the hard way, with standout guard Thomas Kilgore left on the bench with a thigh injury. Carl Boyd used a unique mixture of high-flying acrobatics and brute strength to provide Cal a lead early in the second half. It wasn't going to come easy, however, and the Bears found themselves down by two points with just seconds remaining. Left wing, it's Lampley. 18 seconds left. Boyd, top of the key. Squares up on Solomon. 15 seconds left. Left wing, Gino drives in the lane. Pump fake. Goes, hangs in the air. Draws contact. No call. Little ball is loose. Carlisle runs it down. Five seconds left. His runner to the hoop. It's good. He's fouled with four seconds left. Oh, baby, Gino Carlisle. Carlisle to the rescue. 4.7 seconds left. Carlisle taking his time. He eyes it. It's up. It's good. Cal leads 61-60. In the backcourt, McIntyre runs it up left side. Three seconds left. The half court, McIntyre to the key. His runner at the buzzer. No good. Cal wins. Cal has won the 1999 NIT Championship. The Golden Bears, their first national title in 40 years. So 
The Bears' NIT title and final 22-11 record was a testament to every member of this Cal team. While many had written them off, they decided to write their own storybook finish. Cal's never say die attitude was reflected by the fact that six different times the Bears rallied from double digit deficits to claim victory. Only six teams in school history have managed more than 22 wins in a season. But more than the numbers, this was a season that belonged to four seniors. To the relentless, determined attitude of Thomas Kilgore. The unbridled joy of Francisco Elson when he made big plays. The emergence of Michael Gill when it counted most. And the grace of Gino Carlisle with the ball in his hand. They helped make 1999 a very special year for all Cal fans. They provided not just a beautiful championship trophy, but a legacy of sheer determination and resilience. They provided a will to succeed that will be a model for future Cal teams. They provided Cal Basketball 1999, a championship season.